As the investigation continues into that Sapelo gangway collapse, there's still a lot of questions surrounding the incident. Joining us now to give us some answers and maybe some analysis on what could happen in the future, personal injury attorney and founder of the Atlanta-based law firm Ted Spaulding of Spaulding Injury Law. And Ted, I think that first question is, is there actually a case for some of these victims out here, whether they were families or the people on the dock that night? Yeah, the short answer is is yes. I mean, it, it is sounding like there likely could be a case. And obviously, taking a pause for a moment, hate to hear what happened and, and condolences to the family and, and some of the injury victims. Um, but yes, speculation right now from what we're hearing is that there probably will be a case here by the families and anyone who is injured who survived. Um, and that would be against who owned that area and who may have been responsible for maintaining and who manufactured any of the components of the gangway. Now, all of that may be the state at the end of the day. Yeah, we were talking about it before our researchers said it. actually a general contractor built it and Crescent Equipment has a three year warranty on it. I mean, do warranties come into play when you're talking about lawsuits in that case? So warranties could come into place, but it really would not be with regard to the families, okay? The warranty is with the purchaser. So it's purchaser and seller. So with this being a third party who manufactured it, one of the questions, and of course right now we don't know yet, the investigation will hopefully pinpoint exactly what happened. But for instance, if there is some sort of, uh, what comes to mind for me is welding, so some of this is uh, metal material and things like that. Did some welding fail that caused this? That might be the manufacturer that has some responsibility there. Uh, was it negligently constructed? So this is what the investigation hopefully will reveal um, for the public and most importantly for the family to understand why did something like this happen? Is there any case that this compares to that people may, maybe nationally may understand or know about that would be something similar to this? Yeah, it's a great question. I don't know of any other gangway type things, docks of that nature. I'm sure there's some that are out there. To me, what initially hit as a comparable is we see a number of, throughout Georgia, a number of decking cases a lot of them with like apartment complex, balconies, those sorts of things. You have people over, um, you don't know what the capacity is and those give way. Again, the question then becomes, is this something that could have been avoided from a manufacturing perspective, from an inspection and maintenance perspective? Um, that's what we'll have to figure out, but that's the most uh, analogous case that I can think of would be some sort of deck failure type case. And obviously we're playing in all speculation here about anything that may go on. The other thing I think that came out that we're doing stories on now is the lack of medical supply and treatment that they could get from the island in there. Obviously from a legal perspective, I would think that would play into something if something happened and, and someone wasn't able to get that. Yeah, there's always a potential there. That would be a much more difficult case to say um, the lack of quick medical response. Um, again, that would probably be more down to the county or the city level, um, certainly maybe a state response as well. Um, definitely something to look into uh, if any of the family members reach out to an attorney, those sorts of things. I think the main focus though would be on why did this collapse and who possibly has some responsibility there in a negligence uh, fashion. But yeah, it was sad to hear, you know, with this, it's, it's kind of a double tragedy, right? You, you have this collapse happening, somewhat unheard of, why did it happen? And then not the ability to get to them quickly to try to save people uh, was definitely a tragedy. Yeah, thank you so much, Ted Spaulding. We appreciate it. I'm sure we're going to hear a lot more about lawsuits in various cases in the coming weeks. Appreciate that very much. All Thank right, you. we'll be right back with a whole lot more news.